We are going to bring up Mike TV again. Mike, uh, can you go ahead and uh, get back on up here? We're going to set up for uh, Night Attack. Do you, do you guys want to see a live Night Attack tonight? So, I, 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 you, know, you know what, Mike? Uh, just get on up and start melting faces, and we'll, we'll move tables around and such, and then we'll get ready for Night Attack. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, is there anybody who, uh, just real quick, raise your hand sheepishly if you're not familiar with the amazing writing and songstressness <laughs> of, of Mike TV. Uh, Mike, Mike TV of Get Set Go is... Michelle, is... Michelle TV, I like to call myself now. <laughs> As a songstress, I like to... No you know what, Mike TV, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so... Uh... So I, 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 know, I know this is a, this is a family engagement. I don't write a lot of family songs. Uh, I mean, I do. I write lots of family songs for a certain kind of family that's comfortable with swearing as, as, with their children. Um, so, all right, so this is, uh, I'm, gonna do a, I'm gonna do a very uh, family-oriented version of a song called, so, I, I spent the past, uh, bef I now live in Austin, Texas, but before I left in Austin, I was living in downtown Los Angeles in a little tiny, little tiny apartment, and right next door to me, there was a girl, very sweet girl, and she had a dog that would not stop barking. And the dog, like for three months, she would leave, in the, she would leave at eight in the morning, the dog would start barking, she'd get home at eight at night, and during those 12 hours, while I'm trying to record music and make music, she, the dog was barking. And, uh, and after about three months, I decided enough is enough. And so I wrote a song about, it goes like this. <clears throat> I, I, okay, so hold on real quick. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, replace the expletives because I know there's another children in the room. No, it's 11 o'clock. Oh, no Just go. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Be, be all right, all right. So, yeah. So, so fuck it. Hear me so, fuck it. Yes. Like, all right, there you go. So, fuck on. it. Yeah, so, subsides sorry, so this like is five seconds ago. Wait, this is oh, definitely right. this is definitely a sing along. So, once you get the, get, once, once you get the tenor of the, of the lyrics, I need you to sing along because it's, it's much more awesome whenever it's singing through. I want to kill my neighbor's dog I want to smash it in the head I want to take a hammer to the fucking thing until it's dead I want to kill my neighbor's dog 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 bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum bum ba da bum ba da bum da 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 bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da ba da 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 bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da ba da 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 bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da ba da 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 bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da ba da 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 I fantasize all day about the ways that I could kill this thing The fucking barking is incessant and it's driving me insane I wanna kill my neighbor's dog 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 bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum Here we go! Fuck, 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 motherfucker Fuck, 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 motherfucker Fuck, 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 motherfucker Fuck, fuck, fuck I wish that I could somehow climb into a place and I want to flay off all its skin and pour I want to flay off all its skin and pour salt on what remains. I want to kill my neighbor's dog. I want to kill my neighbor's dog. I want to kill my neighbor's dog. I want to kill... I was not prepared for how dark this is. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Turns out there's a, there's a line. <laughs> I didn't know either. It's awkward for both of us. <laughs> like having a gigantic dick after losing 200 pounds. <laughs> It turns out OPP continues. It's just one person's pain. Fuck, 
I wanna kill my neighbor. Keep going. I wanna kill my neighbor's dog. 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 Mike TV, I'll tell you what, one more song. You got one more oh, in you? Yeah, 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 All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. now do this one, do one with some edge though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, all right, so, all right, so. Do you ever have a girl write the name of a friend over her left breast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, so, all right, so. Yeah, all right, so, all right, so that's, all right, so no. I've, got, I've got a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> Texas. <laughs> he wasn't born here. He got here as fast as he could. <laughs> All right. Uh, brilliant troubadour, uh, voice of an angel, Mike TV. What else you got for us? All right, all right. So I have. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up the crowd. So I've I've got a lot of angry songs, like you know, because you don't say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I also have some sexy songs. You and I, yeah. So yeah, you want guys? You guys want the sexy? Turns out the chorus is the same as that last song. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the first line is, "You introduced me to your mother." <laughs> All right. So uh, so back in back in in two thousand seven. No, it was two thousand. It was still like two thousand five. We 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 toured out. To, we toured out to Little Rock, Arkansas, and we were playing a big festival called Lick Fest. There was a. Is anybody from here, from, from Arkansas? Because anyway, so there's a, so there's, I think it's an active rock station that's like the, like that's active rock is like the rock and roll, like, like whatever's new in the rock and roll world. So, so for whatever reason, we were being played on the station, which is ridiculous. And so we show up and, uh, and, and we, and we're, and there, it's, it's, we're playing a festival. We're, uh, we're opening up for Trapped and Stained. So yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, just real right quick, on. like in my mind, we're still at church, and this is part of it. Like, this should be the storytelling before every hymn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. So and, anyway, and this, Jesus was opening and this, up for trapped and stayed. And this, <laughs> <laughs> no, well, and, and, it's, and, it's, and it sort of is. It sort of is because 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 we. <laughs> I know. All right, I'll buy in. Because this was this was <laughs> well, no, 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 no. This is this is this is where this is this like like we were the we were the non-believers. No, they were the non-believers that became believers. Like right. So things like so. So uh, and for those of you who don't know, Get Set Go, uh, Mike TV's band uh, was probably uh, most popularly known. Uh, they once performed with both Trapped and Sane. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, oh in, 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 in pop culture, you guys were on the Grey's Anatomy soundtrack. Yeah, so, so Grey's Anatomy adopted us, which was awesome. They, so, so we've my songs have been heard on about 15 or 16 episodes of Grey's Anatomy. The, about seven or eight songs over and over and over again. They kept licensing a bunch of them. So that's awesome. I love them for that because... That's but but not them. exactly the same demo as Trapped and yeah, Stained yeah, 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 that's Festival yeah. in Arkansas. <laughs> There's not a lot of people who are out there in like tank tops and Confederate uh, flag tattoos that which are like, exactly, train me! Which is exactly, Woo! which is exactly the crowd we were playing for. And I, of course, I, I'm we're, Hold we're, up real quick. I want a picture on the back of a pickup truck wearing a, <laughs> a Confederate flag and saying like, do you think of me when I'm not around? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to kill my dog? <laughs> I love you, Mike TV! <laughs> <laughs> I drove across Houston traffic for you. <laughs> I'm sitting on my dick right now. <laughs> Come on now, let's go to the Taco Bell on John Silver crossover. I think I think everything that you guys have just said are lyrics to a song. All right, so you're you're playing for these all right, guys. All right, all right, so, all right, so yeah, so we're so we're supposed to open up for Trapped and Stained, and we're playing with like like literally like Switchfoot, like it's it's this crazy bill of people that we do not belong with at all. Like like we are we're an indie rock band. We're not dead. So uh, so I so we step up the front stage. There's 1,500 people out in the audience, like it, it, which eventually became 10,000 people. But we were playing kind of early in the day, and, and I go, hey, we're a pop band from Los Angeles, California. <laughs> Yeah, which, yeah, 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 yeah. Cause, cause in LA, pop band means we write catchy music. Like we're gonna fucking like, but apparently across the rest of the United States, pop band is not a cool thing to say. 
I didn't know that. I didn't know. That's why I learned this. And so we're playing our songs, and people are like, fuck you, man. But like, like literally, like, fuck, I hate your music. And, and we're like, but when we're, pl- we're literally playing, we're a punk rock band. Like, I just say pop band because that's what all my friends' bands were. And I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, all right, so we're, so we're playing, like, fucking melt your face. We have, we have Amy Wood, our drummer at the time, was the most amazing rock and roll drummer you will ever encounter in your entire life. She now drums for Fiona Apple. She's amazing. Just check her out. But so, so she's just tearing up the drums and we're fucking rocking out. And they're like, fuck you. So, and so, you, nothing... so you were trying to do what you thought they wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, it's, and it's not working. It's no. not working. So, so I turn back and I look at my, my bass player, Pat, and I look at Amy and I'm like, all right, guys. That's when you look over and you say, all right, guys. Yeah, no, so no, no. You said, we got to fix this. We got to fix this. You this said, is like, a so... blues riff and B. Watch me for the changes yeah, and no, try no, to keep up. Yeah, and try to keep up. And so... <laughs> And so this is the this is the song this is the song that we played that literally transformed the entire crowd. They went from hating us to fucking the entire all 1,500 people were like fucking greatest band in the planet. And it's, it goes like this. I love your vagina. I love the flavor of your lips. I love your vagina. I love the acquiescence of your tits. Acquiescence means compliance. I didn't know that then, at that point in time. I, I, I thought it meant, you know, malleability, but it means compliance. That's, sure, yeah. yeah. Subservient to I it. love your vagina more than words can say. You keep a miracle between your legs. I love everything about you. I love everything about you. It's true, it's true. I love everything about you. But most especially, I love your vagina. I love the flavor of your lips I love your vagina I love the acquiescence of your tits Thank you, yes, it's so much great I love your vagina More than words can say You keep a miracle Between your legs Ladies and gentlemen, Mike TV! Between your legs. <laughs> One more time, my TV. Between your legs. Hot diggity dig dog, man. We're right on schedule. I think it's time for us to kick off the big, big show. Ladies and gentlemen, who's ready for night attack? How many people have seen a live night attack before? How many people, is this their first time seeing a live night attack? Oh, like half the crowd. Uh, Well, if you didn't leave after the last hour. (laughs) (laughs) Can't get worse. Can't get worse. Uh, All right, so here's how it's gonna go. Brian's gonna play the music. Everybody's gonna go nuts. The louder we are, the more it sounds like we're rock Especially stars on the audio Especially you people who version. haven't seen the show and don't really know what you're cheering for yet, we need you to cheer the loudest and look into the camera and give us double thumbs up. Yeah. For whatever it is we're about to say is an implicit endorsement. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's hit it! I'm Brian Brushwood, live uh, here in, in, in Wisconsin. Uh, uh, hello, you beautiful people. It's time for us to do Night Attack, the best of the worst of the internet. I'm Brian Brushwood, live here, and Noah joined, as always, by my BFF in right here now. It's J.R.Y. <laughs> 
Oh, shit, Brian. Uh, no, I will do no such thing. Shit, right now. No, this is not the previous segment. Uh, we agreed that you're crossing a line, no matter how well-dressed you may be. Yeah. I don't bow to dapper gentlemen. <laughs> That's, that's what I, like, I was told I should always say to strangers. That's a phrase that you should I always... I bow not to dapper gentlemen. That should be something that's like on a family crest. <laughs> the Brushwood clan. We don't yeah. bow to dapper gentlemen. <laughs> like it was such a problem historically. There's a banner underneath. You hear that, uh, uh, Gene? <laughs> Meanwhile, tuxedo jeans, like, well, fuck you. I'm leaving. <laughs> you were part of my plan, man. I was going to yeah. make all my money back. And then he gets in his helicopter. <laughs> he's tuxedo jean, man. He's, he's rolling. He's got some money. <laughs> Hold on, tuxedo jean. How did he come to such dire straits? Oh, tuxedo jean? Yeah. Downturn in the cummerbund market. <laughs> So, okay. Bottom fell out. Oh, yeah. So I thought he just liked a tuxedo. You're saying he made a lot of tuxedos. Oh, yeah, no. He sewed his own tuxedos. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, he, he was, did. He was the laborer as well as the marketing and the, the, the CEO. Which is why he gets a bad rap. It's just being a rich asshole. He's asking people to count out to him. <laughs> he's working harder than any of he's, us. Yeah, he's leading the way to prosperity. And oh, meanwhile, the Brushwoods are shunning him. <laughs> yeah. He spends it all on helicopter rides. Uh, well, I mean, you know, a man's got to live. What are you gonna do? Drive in Texas? <laughs> Listen to the Jerry episode. Oh. Hot damn, man. Uh, uh, we almost planned this episode of Night Attack. Like, we got this close to be like, we should dot, dot, dot. Yeah. So, anyway, welcome to Night Attack. <laughs> yeah. uh, busy, busy, busy day. But we realized yeah. Yeah. that. that Today, we were spoiled for choice. We could talk about the stories of what happened today. Yeah. Um, there was that one um, I was reading in the news today. I read the news today. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Turns out yeah. there was a rigged game. What? Yeah. <laughs> lost by one point, and it was total bullshit. <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. <laughs> it is the talk around r slash rigged games <laughs> uh no no no. so uh, uh being here and uh doing the battle we, of the uh, by the way we are at the nerdtacular conference in snowbird utah make some noise yep, yep. uh you and i both competed mm. in the frog pants all-stars mm. it's a quiz competition go on before we talk some mad shit about it this is all Let leading me up to me bowing to you. Let me remind you of our family's credo. <laughs> Let me pause. I'm going to bring you back in time. Mm. It's about a week ago. I was playing some pinball out in Oakland. <laughs> I'm in the middle of my game, and all of a sudden, you won, and then you started kicking the game and punishing everyone <laughs> for having won. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Go ahead. So I'm listening to podcasts and my podcast ends and my next podcast begins. Mm. It turns out it is The Morning Stream. Y'all ever heard of it? <laughs> and uh, I, I listen to The Morning Stream when I can. It's in my feed. And uh, I'm listening to it and they get through the first segment. Hilarious. Brian, Scott, brilliant. Mm. Having a great time. Next thing you know, they come back from, you know, some buy a gym bar uh, read or something, right? Like, hold on, real quick. How, how did, I, I don't remember. Could you remind me how buy a gym bar the read Are went? you tired of regular bars? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. I mean, I am. Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> if only there was something There's got to be a better way. No, it's whatever. It's like uh, 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 protein bars or something. Kind bars. Oh, I do. No, I do know those because they're all over San Francisco. They, that's all they eat. That and Soylent. <laughs> <laughs> on, on the street corners, they're peddling it. They're just they're yeah. like, yo, got that Soylent. Kind bar, Soylent, kind bar, Soylent. You're... And the Giants game, they're like throwing thermoses of Soylent and flinging kind bars. Uh, 
They're asking for the thermoses back after. Yeah, excuse me, can you please responsibly dispose of your thermos? You would just hand it down. So all of a sudden they come back from the read and uh, I forget which, whether it's Brian or Scott says, uh, Brian or Justin, don't listen to this show. Oh, they're half right. (laughs) (laughs) Because this is a new story to one of us. (laughs) And uh, this is Brian now, Uh, Ibn who was saying, you know, you know how this happens every night attack. Oh. Every night attack at Nertacular. One of... I actually did hear this. He says, it's always amazing, and it always ends in a standing ovation, and it always makes all the other podcasts feel bad. Yep. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Not so much? Not so much. Oh. Huh. No, you want to know what the number one thing that Brian Ibbett believes happens at the live night attacks? It's certainly not everybody chanting, fuck, 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 fuck. (laughs) No, it's uh, this Hallmark segment where me and you (laughs) trash the Frog Pants (laughs) All-Stars. So... I interrupt us trashing the Frog Pants All Stars. Again, two for two, half right. <laughs> because one of us feels gypped, but the other one feels like it's a fair and just competition right now. Oh, no, no. He tried to bury me. Oh, yeah? He did. He tried to bury me personally. He's, he's after me, and he's going to try and screw me. You, you out thought of the you were hearing the podcast, and then you looked and up and he had a shovel. Do, do you want us to bring up Brian Ibbett? Yeah. Yeah. He's here. not here. Get up here, you beautiful, bald-headed motherfucker. Get up here. here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not familiar with uh, the iron fist with which he rules the the, the trivia multiverse, uh, Brian Ibbett, by the way, uh, uh, hey, 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 how are you? How are you? How are you? Uh, for the record, and, and we'll do a, a cheap pop to make to prove my point. Uh, how good were the questions on today's All Stars competition? Fantastic, always fantastic. Is this thing on? Oh, it is. Okay. It's on. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Uh, so now Wait let's for the air, other shoe to drop. Let's air our grievances. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, by, the, by the way, as far sure. as Brian knows, our entire night attack big is we sit him down and we start just throwing things at him. I'm kind of feeling like. <laughs> Don Rickles in the middle of a, of a roast. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, all right, I'll start with mine, because mine's less all important, right. because I won, right. despite your best efforts. <laughs> Were you aware when you uh, gave the other team questions about okay, no, all no, of the no, different... No, no, no. He drove all the way across Houston. The traffic was real bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to punch out. Just one, mm. one thing. One all thing. Right, I'm right. not going to dwell. I'm not going to dwell. Right. It's, a, right. it's a yes or no answer, and then I'm done. Were you aware when you asked my opposing team to name the Flash characters, the CW show The Flash characters Hmm. that also have super speed powers Hmm. that the man who is standing up gloating in the audience (laughs) runs a podcast about CW's The Flash? Were you aware of that? Let's let's set this up. Steven? Stand up, please, sir. Mr. Steven, Steven Schleicher, Steven major, Schleicher spoilers. major Spoilers. <laughs> Steven, a very, very important question to begin this thing right now here. Do I give you any money every month? Um, no, no, do I give you any? Am I a patron of the Major Spoilers? I know, and I apologize for that. And I might start that soon. But hold that's on, neither hold, here nor whoa, there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Somebody just figured out an out for a lot of difficult situations. <laughs> <laughs> this is correct. It's honey, the honey, only honey, honey, she, means, thing to she do. means nothing to um, me. I, I'm nothing. not a patron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this comes into play. Mr. Steven Schleicher. Yes. Is the Flash podcast that you do available to people who are not patrons? What? I had no idea you do a Flash podcast. 
For, uh, for those who couldn't hear, he pointed out that the only way to know would be to patron, and as the entire room very much knows, Brian's not a patron. I am not a patron. All right. I, am, I honestly swear, I had no idea. I mean, hey, listen, simple no, simple no. No, no seriously, no, I could come no, up, be fine. every year I could come up with a specific thing that like each person knows. I could do... I'm like, aware! I could do a round on... I could do a round on Mad Max God, Fury Road. Time when, out, time out, time yes. out. I just want to believe that like seven years from now, I'll be half asleep at the end of the over here and I'll hear the category, the history of fire eating. <laughs> exactly, exactly, right? I could do a Mad Max Fury Road round when Scott's up here. I could do a history of fire eating when Brian Brushwood's eating. I like it. I like if you're it. up here, I could do... <laughs> anything. <laughs> anything and everything. Ah. All right. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, 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 I'm satisfied. Okay. I'm satisfied. All Brian. Right, good. Yeah. Did you did you have any did you have any oh, issues? Oh no no no! Uh, so so going in if, if, if you haven't <laughs> seen it, it's at twitch.tv uh, slash frogpants. It'll be in the archives. But like until, I, until I had... it gets taken down for all the music that I have. In that oh really? Uh, Probably yeah. That's what no, I no, 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 okay, look, Don't spell it, it, it out for them. Oh, okay, crying cool, out loud. Cool. Uh, okay. Try so, and guess those songs, motherfuckers. I had I had. <laughs> Thank you. I had three. I had a Zima tonight. I had. I... <laughs> This, this episode of Night Attack brought to you by 1991. <laughs> um, I had three priorities. One was uh, hopefully make people laugh at some point, mm-hmm. uh, acquit myself uh, appropriately for the team, and if possible, win. Turns out two out of three was not bad. It was not a lot of fun, and, yes. and I can't thank Brian Ibbett enough. Everybody go nuts for you Brian Ibbett. And let me just say, I mean, you guys did great with some very hard questions. This was the hardest round of questions I've ever done, and I didn't mean it for it to be that hard. Sec- fourth, fourth funniest thing I've hey, heard uh, of Dragon Ball. Hold on, real, 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 real uh, quick. What, what was their their tag- in your heart of hearts? What yes. was the one How question? How big was that Zima? <laughs> I know. Well, it was a Glenn Fittich. Was it a Glenn Fittich? Uh, 18 year before the Zima, and oh. then a, what was the cider that they were serving? <laughs> and then there was the heroin, <laughs> and the cocaine. And I'm no, still for, waiting for some Malort. For, for, for a second, I thought that you meant that like, Glenn Fittage bought Zima. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. Everybody, big hand for Glenn. And it's like, he's 18 years old, but man, can he buy the sketch. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Ibbett. Brian Ibbett, the quiz master. <laughs> Is this where I leave? Yeah, just <laughs> get the fuck out of here. That's, that's, that's you getting pissed off. We're gonna uh, take that. All right, we, we, we got some other uh, uh, special guests. We do, this is the cavalcade of stars. And by the way, this sounds like we had written a bit, but literally right now we're looking around to see <laughs> because that's how many special guests are here. I believe that we need to bring in a man who has flown in from across the pond. Ladies and gentlemen, the OG Brito will Oh, hello. This is one of the well, most hello, eligible sir. bachelors in, in all of in. England. Come on in. Cheers, mate. Cheers, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers, 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 cheers. Hey, cheers, 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 cheers. Uh, so why are you here? Oh, Jesus, Will. I swear to God, it never happens. <laughs> you want to watch a movie? I lost a lot of weight and I sat. <laughs> Uh, so what brings you out to uh, uh, Utah? <laughs> what brings you around here? <laughs> I think we got an answer. How you doing, buddy? Um, so what brings me out here yeah. is I came personally to pledge my support to uh, Action News, the Kickstarter. With this all oh, funded shoot. Within, Actually, yeah. Within three hours? Well, we we, we, we didn't even talk about running, this. Running total? Running total, anybody? Nobody cares. Nobody can understand right, so, what the uh, fuck you said. Re- re- real quick, for, for those who weren't watching live and aren't here, uh, Will, can you give us the cliff notes of, of, of Justin's story to now? Describe the game, describe what's happened, describe what you're doing. You want, you want me to deliver a bio of Justin? No. <laughs> when I first met Justin, it was 1776. <laughs> we were two gentlemen 
And as I walked past him on the street, I said, did sir, that is one hell of a cutaway collar. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, oh, hello, governor. I was just walking by and realized I couldn't understand a goddamn word you're saying. <laughs> Would you mind saying it again in English? <laughs> Man, your cutaway collar is so cool. <laughs> I know. So this is 1776. I just realized that I'm playing the supporting role. <laughs> and Willie's just looking at me to carry the ball. Uh, no, I was gonna, I was gonna, yeah, hold on. Hold on, I wanna playing. know what happens next. Yeah, no, no, all right, so my collar, my collar, okay. So what happens? We're in 1776, you've met me for the first time, and you've complimented me on my collar. What now? <laughs> also, who compliments a collar? <laughs> the OG Brito. <laughs> it's a lovely collar, sir. Indeed. Although, if you will allow me to say so. Oh, yes. Utterly inappropriate for your facial dimensions. What? <laughs> Wait, why is that? Why is, my, why is my collar fucked up for my face? <laughs> 1776, the two of them meeting on the street, both holding microphones. <laughs> Keep going. I say, sir, your face is fucked up. <laughs> well, I mean, that's it. That, well, I just met you. <laughs> I mean, even in 1776, that uh, begs for poor manners. As a, as a man with a wider rather than a longer face, and yeah. a narrower collar rather than a wider collar, <laughs> would actually uh, be more uh, complimentary to one's perplexion. <laughs> I'd normally help, but it's pretty great. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I, I, uh, uh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, dressmaker, what would you make of the collar situation? Oh, yeah. hey, don't bother me. I'm just cutting these dresses, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> you know how improv works. <laughs> yes, and yes. that was a... Yes, and fuck off. I'm cutting these dresses. <laughs> oh, yes, and I've never seen a dress like that. Have you ever seen a dress like that? Yes! <laughs> and? <laughs> who was wearing it? Why, it was the Queen of... England. Albania! <laughs> it's easy. Albania! <laughs> That's all. Oh, she was resplendent in such a beautiful dress that this man right here made. I'm Why? sorry. Hi, would you of you guys like a dress? I've been cutting these over there for a while. Oh, now you're in on this. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, yes, hands. Are, are they are they handcrafted bespoke artists or local resources? You, you I hope you guys enjoy English. our That's podcast, Improv bespoke. 101. <laughs> uh, all right, look. Um, I thought we were doing Brexit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cheap pop, the OG Brexit. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. So uh, you are here in Utah. Have you ever been in Utah before, Will? The question is, has Utah ever really been in here? <laughs> uh, no. Man. I I'm we... almost positive the question I asked you was, have you ever been in Utah before? A simple yes or no binary on, question. Tell me, tell me. I have so never, I have, I, have, I have never been to Utah. I have never been to Nertacular. This is my number one Nertacular. Nertacular is <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little stuck on exactly how Utah physically got into you. <laughs> uh, I, I don't see anything wrong here at all. Okay, right on. Uh, uh, all right, look, uh, uh, we, uh, Justin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, great. Know, that know, was Brian. That was Brian trying to start the car. <laughs> and then it just wouldn't turn over. That was just uh, like... Uh, no, 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 no. Justin, hold my beer. Hold my beer. All right, Will Harris, I'll give you 30 seconds. What do you got? All I've got is there's going to be, it's going to be a segment. Yeah. It's going to involve Mike. We're going to have to get Mike back up here. Okay. Oh. We're going to do... Hold on. Uh, are, I... are, we, are we assuming we're not doing... 
I literally have no idea. Right. What you're okay. Doing. So we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna do is say we're gonna do we're, we're gonna see a game. Let the gonna... toddler drive. <laughs> I want to see where he's going. <laughs> I've never experienced anything like this in my life, and I really want to see where it ends up. Right. So we can do a panel oh game. Oh, my pacifier. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird and gross, like both of them at the same time. So the idea <laughs> is... Here. Mike comes up. Yeah. Plays a tune. Okay. Mm. You're going to get a four-bar intro. Yeah. Right? Then you have to do eight bars improvisational. Okay. And then you get an out, oh. right? And then by applause, the winner of each round is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> and right. each time that's the yes. topic. Yes. Right. Yes, yes, and, yes, and, right. Was, yes <laughs> and. I was going to, my TV, get up here right now. My, my TV's TV. back, all right. Oh. right. Or rather, my TV's up here it's for the first time. Very easy. On this is going great. So okay. It's very, so it's very easy. We get no, a pick. No, 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 no. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. No, uh, hold you on. are going to let him show drive. us what's going. Yeah, you gotta pre yeah, show right. us. So, yeah. so, so, someone from the audience has to shout out a topic that we're gonna sing about. Brexit. Brexit. Can we do Brexit? No. Can you... uh, I think the people have spoken. Uh, seventeen seventy six. I heard seventeen. You heard seventeen seventy six. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it in turns, okay? We're gonna oh, do three no, no, songs. no, 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 no. You are going to show us what's going on. Yeah, oh, we're Here very, we very excited. Here we go. The no, 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 And I was frustrated with my podcast mix Cause I couldn't get the folks I want Except on the Maple Vault Who the hell knows what that file system does I really love you cause 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 Cause, cause. 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 Oh, I, I feel like we got pretty close with that one No, no, no Keep going, you got this. Keep going, you got it. You got to take us back to 1776. Another topic. I heard 1776. Go. We need a new topic. New topic. Action news. Action news. Wait, what was that? What was that? Hold on. Action news. How about nuggets? Nuggets. Nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Go ahead. People love them. But like, but like, ah, oh, but I need them. I need the nugs so bad. Then get them. Get them in the, get them in a song. Guys, you guys think, uh, think Will's doing a great job right now? <laughs> Let's go. Chicken nuggets. Will's not going to remember any of this tomorrow. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Who else seen a leprechaun? Say yeah. yeah. All right. Nugs. Nugs. Nugs, gotta get them nugs. Nugs, nugs, gotta get them nugs. Nugs, nugs, gotta get them nugs. Nugs, nugs. So I went down to the local fast food place. Decided that I was gonna stuff my face. Couldn't decide whether to wear sandals or Uggs. Then I had to choose. Between a cheeseburger or nugs, oh nugs, 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 sweet nugs, oh nugs, 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 sweet nugs, nugs, sweet nugs. Then I had the most intense feeling of regret when I. Ended up with my pants a little wet And it turns out I had eaten none more nuts than I should And I ended up looking like Brian Brushwood It was a <laughs> Because Nugs 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 
Nugs, Nugs, Nugs. Ladies and gentlemen, Will Harris! Mike, you stay up here for a second. Yeah, Mike, Mike, just move in, man. Make yourself at home. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, I've been this bitch. The Cavalcade uh, of Stars hey, continues. Real quick, we made a special invitation uh, because we have friends of the show who just did a concert beforehand. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope they're in the room as I introduce to you Paul and Storm. Yeah. Yeah! Now we're talking. Wait, we're, 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 we're rubbing we're elbows. Up. All right, we're all good. Uh, um, all right, so what are you guys Thanks for inviting us to your there. road accident, guys. <laughs> this is very kind of you. Yeah, I'm going to be bottoming out at about 11.30 tonight. You want to come over and watch? Yeah. <laughs> Too close to home. <laughs> you, you don't mind if we snack, do you? Oh, no, no please, would you, would please, Would you like please. some snacks? We have some there, snacks. There, there's like some real strict rules to these shows. So <laughs> for crying out loud, somebody should be getting some out of this. We're willing to bend them a little bit for you guys. So this, uh, this resort is beautiful and everything, and it's yeah. nice, and it's remote. But after 10 p.m., this is literally all that you can fucking find to eat in this <laughs> place. <laughs> all right, uh, hey, what do you got? Uh, uh, sell us, sell us on these. One more time! Nugs, nugs, nugs. Didn't have any nugs. <laughs> Paul and Storm, uh, you guys, uh, I, met, I, I met you guys, what, out in uh, uh, Dragon Con, and yeah. then you were a surprise guest at my house. Can we, can, I, can we share your version of the story? This is a story we've told on the air before, but I feel like you guys were there for one of my favorite moments of my entire life. Oh, I think so I you, know what you're talking about. So you're, you're referring to the, the trip with the salt lick and turning your daughter into a mass murderer. Uh, okay, a little bit. What? Hands Let me in the air if you guys already know my version of the story. Oh, wonderful. Almost nobody. Okay. Great. I, I, so oh, the record, I don't have my hand up and I'm on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you not know? No. You've oh. heard this story, but I might have mentioned just casually that, that Paul and Storm were there for the entire we were time. witnesses. Oh, yes. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, gotcha. We're like serial like, witnesses. Paul Wait. and Storm are the reason that 30 years from now, as all the my last hairs are falling out and I'm telling this story, they're the only reason that anybody will believe me is because they were there as testimonial <laughs> witnesses. Uh, I'm, okay, let me, let me try and come up with the short version of this story. Yeah, it doesn't remember. have to be so, short. Uh, <laughs> if we've learned one thing tonight, ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> Good, then I will actually start with the Salt Lake part. Okay. Um, anyone here from the Austin area? Anyone Nugs. here familiar with the concept of barbecue? <laughs> bip, bip, bip. So people in Austin take their barbecue really fucking seriously. <laughs> Someone just yelled dripping spring. Somebody literally yeah, like, yelled. Like, like New York style pizza, Chicago pizza, that's nothing yeah. on, oh, yeah, yeah. No, on the barbecue it, it is, across town. It, it is religion. People get cut over yeah, this stuff. Facts. So we were, we were in uh, Austin yep. uh, with our friend Patrick Rothfuss. Yes. Our close personal friend Patrick Rothfuss. <laughs> uh, by the way, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Patrick... Patrick Rothfuss wrote the uh, uh, Name of the Wind, and uh, uh, it's public Kill news. Kildren, of course, yeah. Uh, what's that? Kildren. Kildren. Yeah. That's right, the third <laughs> episode. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, but, but like, uh, uh, basically, you're going to hear a lot about Patrick Rothfuss over the next 10 years. Do yourself yeah. a favor and read yeah. all of his stuff right now Betty so you can be that guy. But we wanted, to go to, we wanted to go get some barbecue, and we, Storm and I are big fan, fans of the Salt Lake in the Austin area. And Dripping Springs. <laughs> <laughs> Dripping Springs. Yep, yep. Well, we've never and been to the. We've never. We had never been to the Salt Lake mothership. We'd yeah, only been yeah. to the, the the what Red Rock or the uh, uh, something you, rock. The 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 the, the, the drooping redneck. <laughs> the drooping redneck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's yeah. exactly what it was. Yeah, drooping yeah, redneck. I, I, I think there's a song about the drooping redneck. Round Rock. Yeah. 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 Round Rock. Round Rock. It was so Round Rock. The, but the short version is Schwood was okay with taking us to Salt Lake but he's not a huge fan of their sauce. So he literally smuggled in an unmarked jar of, was it Rudy's? <laughs> and you yeah, know what the penalty for Rudy's is the superior and he sauce. Was, he was legit way, 
you were legit worried about yes. getting caught. Yes. Uh, they they would have put you in Salt Lake Jail. Okay. So imagine you guys came to Nerdtacular. The bars are made of jerky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Best jail ever. <laughs> Like, imagine you're here at Nerdtacular and Scott Johnson takes you out for a bite to eat and he's looking over his shoulder both ways and he's twisting a jar and he's like, oh, this is the good stuff. And then he pours it all over your meat. (laughs) (laughs) Is that sixth filthiest thing? We are talking about barbecue, yes. (laughs) All right, skip to the part where my daughter cries. So we... (laughs) Schwinn takes us back back to his house, teaches Storm and Pat how to... Breathe fire. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. fire. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, I I didn't participate because there needed to be at least one survivor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Pat has Pat wrote a children's book uh, called The Adventures of Mr. Whiffle and oh, what, what is the princess something or other? Princess and Mr. Whatever the princess and Mr. Whiffle. The short version of it is it's not actually a children's book. It's a children's it is, style. It is written book. in the children's style. It is it is illustrated in the children's style and it is told. By the way, when you look it's at it, it's a picture book. It's got a gold foil seal on it that looks like one of those Newberry Award winner things on there. But when you look a little bit closer, you te- see a teddy bear, and around it is written seriously dot dot dot. This shit is not for kids. Yeah. <laughs> no one ever reads it. <laughs> no. And this, uh, she, he, how she old was, was your daughter? 11 or 10 at the time. Yeah. But, but she had read all of, of his first two books. And did, now, did she request that he read this, or was this your request, or did Pat foist this on you? <laughs> Pat Wait, is, is, this, have... is that his thing? Is this Pat's thing? <laughs> so, no, he doesn't look to inflict okay, no. damage so, on people. Here, here's the thing. Usually. In a mixed crowd like this, I would imagine Patrick Rothfuss... Uh, has some material that he's figured out, including like, oh, you know what'll be a lot of fun for all of us is if I read what sounds like a kid's story, but is very much not a kid's story, and I'm sure it'll go over very well. And you could tell that they're in the room with Paul and Storm and me and my my 10-year-old daughter, uh, who was a huge fan of his stuff. He was very conflicted, very conflicted about whether or not to read all this, but also realized that she is a fan of his two books. And this is the two books that star with rape and murder and right. destruction, and he's like, "Okay, well, how bad can my joke of a of a, <laughs> of a, kid's of a children's story, and, story right? right?" And to be fair to Pat, the book usually gets a favorable reaction. <laughs> usually, usually. Yeah. so 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 so, so, kids. Kids. so, 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 so you guys have seen him read this? We've oh yeah, seen, we've read not, it. We've not, seen him read it not in to live a group shows. Of kids. Not to not like specific yeah. so to you a guys, child. But. Okay. In your mind, what is your expectation of how the next five minutes is going to go, knowing what you're, what is he's setting up? I, I thought it was going to be cool. Yeah. I, I, was, I, was, I really I was, did. Yeah, I was looking forward to seeing an actual child react to this. Yeah. And we, we thought she had been pre-screened. Oh, so, yes. wait, oh, so, so, so normally these are, uh, Rob, this is going to other readings. Yeah, and, we, and yeah, we've done shows with him before, and he'll read this like book. A crowd like this. Yeah, crowd, yeah, got you. All right, so a concert, so this got first, a crowd. This is our first time with a 10-year-old child alone in a, in a room. <laughs> so this is even... This that is came normally, out wrong. This is normally best done and best received in a crowd that is used to like music being played, and now the author comes out, reads this baller story, yeah. kills the audience. Uh, so he's re- he goes proceeds to read this picture book. that And the first three quarters of it is sort of a standard story of this princess and her teddy bear, Mr. Whiffle, and they're, having a, they're going around their castle, and you notice that they never really see anybody else there, and they're just, they go off into the woods, and they play pretend, and they go to the well, bedroom. Well, and specifically, she's afraid of yes. what's underneath yes. the bed. Yes, and there's right? some strange creature that she cannot identify underneath the bed, yes. and it has scary eyes, and, and it's got these long teeth that she can hear gnashing, and... It's sort of building up to this thing. And yeah. And, and it's in three parts. And in the first two parts, it comes to this very scary climax. And you're like, oh, my God, it's going to be death and horror. All and right. then, real, oh. qu- real quick, just to put in perspective, if you guys have read the books, Penny loved them so much that she... These are, these are the King Killer Chronicles. The King Killer Chronicles. Yeah. She made her own cape so she could be like the main character yeah. in there. Like, like that's what a fan, and, and that's what Patrick was responding to, trying to do a sweet moment. Yeah. So, so, so it's getting to that second climax where she's in the bed and the monster's under there and she can see his big, long arm reaching out. And he's, he's got that kind of a voice, too. He's got a very low... Resonant. Resonant. And he was selling it, And he too. was really selling it. Yeah. And it reached up and she could feel its fingers 
dripping their way across her face. And the twist is, it turns out it's an adorable monster that just wanted to uh, play and have fun with the princess and Mr. Oh, Whiffle. So this is the there's moment. four or five pages of them sort of getting along and being happy. And then suddenly... Okay, now, here, question. pause, pause right there. <laughs> just to refresh for this audience that half of which have never seen the show live before. It's fine. Please describe the temperament of your daughter, Penny. <sighs> she, she has a strong sense of justice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she, uh, she's not afraid to go to bat for what she thinks is right. Mm -hmm. She but, takes stands and maybe uh, reacts emotionally when the winds of life uh, batter that position around. Uh, to put it in perspective, at some point, Bonnie was upset, and I was like, hey, she's like Martin Luther King. And Bonnie says, they shot Martin Luther King! <laughs> <laughs> That's a little on the nose for, for causes, but yes. Bonnie is not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> no. Number one, that story is so is, is brilliant like a like a diamond. Like there's just so many positions that I would like to look at it. Put a pin in that. But she's Let's she's go been back. along for the ride for this she's book. Been she's, been, she's, she's been, been along. She's been yeah. a little tense as the tension has built. Sure. And then she got that twist of turns out the monster's nice and she's like, oh, okay, good. Yeah. yeah. And so gets that third twist, and I'm not gonna tell it properly, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to. But but the punch is... The punch is... Something, something, something happened. Something, something, tension. Next page, princess with flesh and blood all over her jaw. The next line is, so she ate him. <laughs> yeah. yeah so and she has a huge pointy teeth, her jaw unhinges, and she's eating the monster. Yes. Like, like, like graphic, like oh, tendons and the, bones. Yeah. Yeah, the, like the, the, the sinew. Nice oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's all in there. She's gleefully tearing apart. And everybody loved this part, that, right? And, yeah, oh, yeah. And, and yeah. You're, this is the part usually where the audience laughs and, oh, my God, what a twist. But, but you're, 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 normally this is a parody. Like, exactly. you know, someone's coming yes. out, a bunch of drunk people at a concert are now being read a children. Story, exactly. and now the rock and roll happens. Right. Well, for sure, there's a, a even as an adult, you feel a genuine moment of horror. Yeah. But then, when you, once you process everything that you've seen in this book, it's like, wow, that's incredible. He's but, been setting it up the whole time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But, but no, in your house, <laughs> in the living room, it was turn the page, and so she ate him. There was a chain. <laughs> <laughs> it took about. Six seconds. It was the Steady, biggest, yeah. oh, saddest oh, slow burn yeah. in your daughter. <laughs> okay, you're leaving out my favorite Wait, was part. It, was it like, was it like the best cry ever? <laughs> it was, it was. And then there was that pregnant pause and she ran out of breath and she drew in a breath and you think you're about to have to cry again, oh, but she, instead she turns to Patrick Rothfuss, writer of one of the best fantasy stories ever and says, why would you do that? Yes. <laughs> she, she ate them. <laughs> Why would you write that? <laughs> Except it wasn't, I don't think it was quite that angry. It was more just like so broken. Why would you do that? Okay, at this You've moment. You destroyed my the, life and conception of the good <laughs> and evil. The only thing more broken than Penny at this moment is Patrick. Oh yes. my God. <laughs> oh, he was mortified. He was mortified. <laughs> Not knowing what to do, he turned to my nine-year-old and continued the story. <laughs> That's a pro. He's That's trying a to pro. he's trying to stuff that toothpaste back in the tube. Oh, yeah. Just power, through. power through, power through, Pat, power through. All you can do is scab over it at this okay. point. Yeah. The only other part that I wish I could convey is how delicious the cackling of my laughter was over all of this, because I knew that this was a story I would tell for the rest of my life. However, you gentlemen who just showed up to learn, to, you're like, hey man, I just came to learn fire eating. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> I did like, not come here to watch the destroying of a child. <laughs> Usually I gotta pay extra for that. Yeah. You have to prepare me. And the father who won't stop cackling. Uh, yeah, it's a great moment. <laughs> Learned a lot about you in that case. Right? Yeah. 
Has she ever mentioned that? Like, like uh, since then, or like, like did, uh, did that affect oh, how she only felt about shouting it out in nightmares? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? I get the strong. <laughs> I get the strong impression that it it will be a real concern if the third book ever comes out. Mm-hmm. Mm. Are you just taking? Totally unsolicited shots of maybe, Patrick Rothfuss maybe. right now. No, I love you, Patrick. <laughs> uh, well, you guys performed earlier tonight. Who, who see Paul? Who saw Paul and Storm earlier tonight? Uh, is this like normally? Did you guys play a lot of cons normally? Yeah, yeah the past few years. Increasingly lately, yeah. yeah they're just it's easier because you're not in a van for eight hours between <laughs> shows, and you got a ready-made room full of nerds rather than possibly so, random people. You, you Those guys, are the worst, right? Randos, like, yeah, uh, forget them. Fuck them randos. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are in the perfect position in that um, you have, uh, at this point, entered a phase where most of the audiences you perform for are primed for, for your type of humor and, and music. Uh, but I would imagine you guys have, and, and we're guiding to my favorite type of story ever, uh, uh, stories where you got on stage and realized you were a mismatch for the audience. Is there one tale that yes. just pop- Okay, great. Penn State with our old band, Da Vinci's Note. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Opening it's... for Tracy Morgan. Okay, so... This is... All right, all so right, this hold is, on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Set, slow let, down, let, slow let's down. set the scene. Let's go back yeah, and set yeah, the scene. Yeah, yeah. The year was... <laughs> 2003, maybe? Yeah, around that. This is, pre, this is pre-30 Rock, post-Saturday Night Live. Okay. Uh, Tracy Morgan is playing the uh, big mid, basketball... Mid the basketball arena. Yeah. Uh, bring in the comics. Probably uh, five, 6,000 people in the audience. Yeah. Um, it's a late show. It's a late show. It's Friday night. They're drunk. We were not aware that they were giving... It was $5 student tickets. Oh, so, so this is so, so at they're, they're college. Passing. This is at yeah. Penn State. Most this of is, this the people... is in, in Happy Valley. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah and I'm campus. a Penn State alum. This is. Gotcha. I'm like, I'm going home. This is going to be great. I'll show you the old arcade we used to go oh, to. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is, it, is this your first time performing at Penn State? Or, or, it was or like, not. I, okay, It was okay. not. We had been back there before, but, but, but this, this, is, this is easily, you... easily the biggest stage we'd been on it. Got then. you. And you are bringing your friends, and you are, you're bringing your band, uh, and you're showing... Yeah. Atlanta's band has been there before? Oh uh, yeah, this this was our, our old our old band was an a cappella group, a comedy a cappella group called Da Vinci's Notebook. So you know, real whoa, hard edge whoa, stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Must I rewind further? No, I just want to hear just a little bit of a cappella. And in my fantasy, one of you is just, is that guy who does the boom, 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 boom. You're that guy for us now. Okay. <laughs> You're in the group. Oh, join your band. Do you have a back together? Do you have a favorite acapella song? Enormous penis. Enormous penis. Oh wow. Yeah, we had a we had a, we had a big novelty hit called Enormous Penis. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. It's going on our gravestone. Yeah, Bob and Tom can, radio can, show. Can you manufacture some version of this song? Like, even if it's shabby, we'll love it. It'll be better than anything else in the show. I mean, you heard you heard Nugs. <laughs> we steal your guitar. Oh. Uh, Yes, indeed, you can. We literally have not played this song in at least two to three years. There we go. They saved it just for this moment, folks. All right. <laughs> like, like old cheese. Yes. <laughs> like old cheese of virginity. Sorry. <laughs> Sick. Do you got it? Okay. In fact, I just want to believe some 15 year old has decided that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> When that moment comes four years from now. <laughs> Old cheese <Our> Virginia. <laughs> Just stop it. <laughs> I keep going. Stop this line. All right, here's a, here's a little tale. I'm going to stand up. All right, here we go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. For the you first need, time in two years. Enormous penis. Whenever life gets you down, keeps you wearing a frown, and the gravy train has left you behind. And when you're all out of hope, down at the end of your rope, and nobody's there to throw you a line. If you ever get so low that you don't know which way to go, come on and take a walk in my shoes. Never worry about a thing, got the world on a string, cause I've got the cure. 
for all of my blue, all of my blue. I take a look at my enormous penis and my troubles start a melting away. <laughs> I take a look at my enormous penis and the happy times are coming to stay. I gotta sing and I dance when I glance in my pants and the feet it's like a sunshiny day. I take a look at my enormous and take it to the ending. Everything is going my way. My trials are monster. Everything is going my way. My meat is murder. Everything is going my way. Size doesn't matter. Everything is going my way. <laughs> See, that's how you do it. You don't talk about your 200 pounds of weight loss or the inconvenience of sitting on your dick. Yeah. I'll tell you what, yeah, that guy seems like a real bitch now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. So that, that was a so great song. song. Oh, so, that, so that song got us the Tracy Morgan gig. Ah, all right. <laughs> no, so, well, oh, so we oh, yeah. actually, that, so we uh, got hired to go perform at Penn State. Very excited about it. Been there before. Uh, the audience was drunk as shit. Yeah. Had no idea there was going to be any opening act whatsoever. Oh, and we were not the only opening act. Yeah, so the, so the promoter oh, comes Jesus. out. We meet Tracy Morgan backstage. He's very nice. Yeah. Uh, the promoter comes out in front of 6,000 drunk frat guys and maybe 50 people who had come to see us because we'd put it out on our like physical mailing list because this was pre-email list. And sure, they'd already sure. seen like an hour's worth of comics before we got up there. Well, not even... So they had... Like, the promoter comes out. You guys ready to see Tracy Morgan? Well, first, here's this local comic to do 15 minutes of lame local references. Oh. That's not what he said, but that's what the guy did. And Although the guy went like 20, 25 minutes. Now the crowd is finally fucking ready to see the guy they came to see. Yeah. The promoter comes back out. We got a special surprise for you. Here's acapella band Da Vinci's Notebook. Record scratch. Ooh. So, and this, and this is something that, that uh, uh, there are certain like oil and waters that do not mix. And, and a comedy crowd is there to see comedy. Yeah. They are not, unless it is a well-known yeah, like yes. novelty music act. Exactly. They're not if, there for that if, shit. If we had been like, um, what's his name? Uh, Stephen Lynch. Stephen Lynch. Sure, yeah. Or, uh, or, or yeah. Today She's D or, yeah, yeah, anyway, or something yeah. like that. It might have been yeah. something. But A, they didn't know who we were, and B, they didn't want to see us. No. Uh, uh, and by the way, like, like it's in the reverse, too. Like, if there's a music act and all of a sudden you put a comic randomly out there, yeah. they're going to eat shit. Yes. So we're standing on stage. We're supposed to do 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and we were going to close with Enormous Penis, because that's our big closer. Yeah. And I, when I seriously, like, you do not know the feeling of being booed by 6,000 people at once. Uh, you just hold on don't want second. your existence. You, <laughs> might know. you might know. I heard your tongue. I, your story I, I, I think a considerable number of the panel knows exactly that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so this is now a support group. So <laughs> welcome. <laughs> we turned right around and did Enormous Penis as our second song uh -huh. and started immediately doing the math in our heads. How short can we go? and still get paid, because it was a good paycheck. The, the answer was 13 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had a song, actually, uh, that was just called Fuck You, that was more or less just saying that for about two minutes, and we turned it into you, a remix. You know, yeah. <laughs> But that's, that's, hold on, I love ne the idea. never was that song as yeah. never was never was that song as heartfelt as it was that night. <laughs> oh sure, yeah, they loved that one. So, like, like, is there a moment where you guys, as performers, just turn on the audience, and it, it is about like we are we are here to fill time. Honestly, we don't like you. You do not like us. Let's just be aggressive in what we're doing. Now, Actually, that's when we did the fuck you song. That yeah. was yeah, that's we've that been, was thinly we've been pretty lucky. Like we haven't done a whole lot. No, no, none of those gigs besides the Penn State one really come to mind where we were just absolutely yeah, like wholly inappropriate. Yeah. They didn't like us. We didn't like them. And nobody gave a shit. What <laughs> sure, happened. sure, yeah. Uh, but okay, okay. So real quick, just let me savor this. Uh, the uh, so the after the show, like the drive home. I did not, when I had those gigs, have the luxury of speaking to another human being. And instead, I had six hours of silence as I went home. In my mind, the two of you are driving in silence for a good 40 minutes, and one of you turns, you know, leans over, you're like, 
So that sucked, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was much more immediate than that. There were actually four of us, and I, I, I seem to recall, I may be misremembering, Tracy Morgan actually coming over after and saying, hey, you know, Glad you're here. Yeah. Certainly his people did. He yeah. walked over and he's so, like, hey. That's a bad break. Hey, sorry, <laughs> sorry you guys had to eat it in front of my crowd. Yeah. 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 My crowd, am I right? Yeah. So, but yeah, it definitely helped that, that we had, uh, we had so folks around us. Did, did you change anything afterwards? Did you realize that there no, was something? Not no, not do those kind of gigs anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, comedy, comedy clubs were, we always did fine, but that was always much tougher than yeah. doing like a music room. Oh, really? So you would, you would rather be like in a musical venue where your musical traps can stand out, yeah. but you're also Cause, funny. Because yeah. like comedy songs, they're at a different pace than stand-up. Yeah. You know, stand, you know they're, they're, we're, if we're lucky, we get like a joke out every 12 seconds or so. Right. And the rest of it kind of feels like you're marking time till the next joke for a lot of comedy club audiences. Uh, sure. Well, well, I mean, literally, they all show up and they're like, I got a two drink minimum. Yeah, and make you better me get to fucking the next laugh. One. Yeah. 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 It worked fine if it was a town where we were known mostly from the Bob and Tom radio show if they knew they would come to the comedy club for us. But sure. if it was something where you'd stitch together seven nights and maybe three of them were in towns you hadn't. But been also, to. I would imagine that, uh, you know, having a guitar with, with you guys in your act now, that's a lot. Easier uh, as an initial, uh, uh, you know, meeting a crowd than a cappella. Yeah. Right. It's, like, it's, like, it's, uh, not the, it's not the manliest of arts. No, <laughs> no, no. Nor is it one where somebody like many times you've seen in pop culture and in movies and, and in entertainment, somebody pulls out a guitar and you laugh because of something that they have sung. Right. Yeah. Very rarely is it like, all right, Anna one, Anna two. Yeah, how about and you, you're Mike? Dying. I'm curious if Mike's had any other like really shitty gig experience. Yeah, dude, those, those are like my, always my favorite stories. Yeah, so so that's probably thirty percent of all my gigs. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like yeah, yeah. No, I mean, but 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 because because uh, all right. So so when we tour. Like, you know, like, I, so I, I, uh, we had a booking agent. She was terrible. And I'm like, I'm like, I'll book the shows from here on out. So I'm our booking guy, right? So, so things like, so, you know, and, and you book, you book 70 shows in it. Like, you're, you're going to do a six month or six week tour. You do as many shows as you possibly can. Take maybe, maybe one week off and, and, and two, and or one day off in two weeks kind of thing. So, um, yeah, so we, we find that we find our, ourselves in these places where, like, you know, like Utah, where they don't really, like, like where for the, the most part... What the fuck is that supposed to be? Well, no, I, yeah, I, 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 know, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm not mean, pretty... So, so we, were, we, played, we played Kilby Court in here, here in, yeah. in Salt, or Salt Lake City. Awesome all right, place. All right, awesome all right. place. I'm hearing Beautiful yelps. people. Great place. But the thing is, 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 but there were a bunch of kids, like, we didn't... Oh, it's an all-ages venue, which is great. We, like, we totally do well with all-ages, but, but literally 75% of my lyrics are not all-ages stuff, so... So we, I have a song called Suicide, which is about, it's about like drinking and, and cigarettes and like the things you do. Suicide oh. and small, easy payments. Oh. But, but hold, the, okay, but hold the on, wait, 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 wait. Just let me get all the little pieces all in a line right now. Yeah. You're in Utah. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. You're singing about suicide. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Previously, Dude, all the with, stories were about with, bad gigs. With, with kids, with kids in the audience. So, with like literally, there's like a family of. They, and so there's. So we're playing in this, and we've brought like we've packed the house. Oh, we're here to see Get Set Go, and I know that it's the 17 year old kid that's a big fan. Yeah, and he's told his parents on this band's awesome. Let's bring everybody. It's gonna be great. It's in all ages. We can bring everybody. We can bring the whole family. Yeah, and Meredith so, Gray loves yeah, him. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, 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 and that's and that's exactly yeah. He's, they're on Grey's Anatomy. Oh, that's awesome. We love Grey's Anatomy. Do, 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 Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Do, 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 <laughs> so, oh my so, god. So you know, and so and so, I'm singing like, uh, um, you know, I'm singing about I want to drink a, a glass of Drano and I'm gonna eat a bullet. You know, like like, and then and, and I'm and I'm realizing that as I'm singing these lyrics, I'm w looking at the faces of this family right in front of me. And so, I'm, and so the, the chorus is suicide, suicide. It's, it's super catchy, suicide. This is, and I look at them, I go, lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you did, you, 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 all so you, the you, you the 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 just the lyrics, just. I saw these kids, and I said the whole song was lemonade. And it was awesome because literally like 70 or 80% of the crowd was there for us. And they're like, this is great. And, and they say, yeah. so it's awesome. Hold on, you yeah. just kids bopped your own I song. Did, I did. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's so that's so that was the, the best of the worst of the of the. It's nice, but yeah. So like, wait, all right, so so you simultaneously 
uh, as Brian so eloquently put it, kids bop your own song to the dismay of the 70% no, of the no, crowd no, no, that was no, there they, for no, you? They, no, they, they loved it. They, they, actually, they actually saw they, what, they, they saw what I, they saw that I was, oh, oh, they, I was they, changing they, they the recognized your good yeah, deed. I kept, gotcha. Yeah, I kept looking at it and, they, and they were like, that's awesome. And then, and then to, to, to this day, occasionally. But then they all realized like, like lemonade is like suicide. So wait, so 70% of the crowd liked what you did? Yeah, no, you know. Doesn't sound so shitty to me. Well, what I, well, what no. I would have loved is if they had turned it into a thing, like a bare naked ladies thing, where they'd start bringing lemonade to your shows. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah! Now all of a sudden they're they're the they're, they're the lemonators. Yeah. Yeah, we're the lemon heads. <laughs> yeah. Can we well, be and the reason why is that she's <laughs> on his Twitch channel? Everyone shows up with lemonade. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, listen. So it shall be done. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, I'll tell you, I bet you we could talk about uh, shitty gigs all night, but we do got to wrap it up here in the main hall. We are past time, so let's get a big round of applause for Paul, Paul and Storm. And Storm. <laughs> Thank you guys uh, so much for hanging out. Uh, they killed it tonight, and uh, I'm, I'm so glad you guys uh, hung Thanks, out. Man. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, Mike TV. Yeah. 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 Fuck that guy. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Do you that have... guy's a jerk. He's an asshole. Trust do, me. I know do, him. I know him very well. Do He's you have a live lullaby? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 by the way, between the lines, what he's saying is, do you remember the lyrics to the song you wrote for us? Yes, yes. Uh, we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you guys know... Nerdtacular is easily one of our favorite uh, times of the year. It okay. is awesome. Uh, specifically today has been an absolute dream come true for me. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out late. Give yourselves a round of applause. Amen. I'll tell you what, man. I don't know if Mike TV remembers the lyrics to the lullaby. Pretty sure there's 500 people in this room who do. All right, so here we go. So I'll start off, but we'll, we'll end with you guys sing this for me. So, so I'll, I'll get it going then. Oh no, now the is the thrill. Is it something that I did? Is it something I can do? Oh no, now the attack is done. My heart has been broken. The depression's just begun. Running brushwood every time. Don't be shy, come on. By pissing off some bees. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. I'm allergic to bees. <laughs> oh, oh, Justin Robert Young. Every time you go, I feel so sad that I wanna drink a warm glass of Drano. Lemonade. <laughs> Not attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. Night attack. I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. Oh yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great show. What are we going to call it? <laughs>